Namaste. Welcome to this little 10 minute flow. Perfect little flow to maybe do in the morning or any other time where you feel you really want to take some movements to get fully connected to the body again. Okay, so let's get started. Find a comfortable position and just take a moment to close your eyes. So closing our eyes. Feeling the sitting bones connected to the ground. And then just taking a few deep breaths into the belly. So often we mainly breathe only in the upper chest. So really consciously for a moment, draw the breath also in the belly. Very good. So staying with that deep breath during the whole practice, allowing it to energize you, balancing out inhale and exhale. And we'll start with some head rotations. You can keep the eyes closed, allowing the chin to drop towards the chest, and then bringing the left ear towards the left shoulder, opening the right side of the neck. Taking a deep breath here, allowing both shoulders to sink down. And on the exhale, bring the chin back to center. Inhale over to the opposite side. Stay here for one more deep breath. Really lifting the chest upward. Keep that openness in the chest. And then exhale back to center with the chin once more over to the opposite side. Opening that right side. Maybe walking away the right fingertips so you can feel that stretch all along the arms. See if you want to point the fingers up or down, what feels best. Keep the chest open. And then exhale, drop that hand back into the left. Chin comes to the center. Inhale over to the opposite side. Walking away those left fingertips this time. Finding that deeper stretch all along the arm. Breathing deeply, both sitting bones connected to the ground. And with the next exhale, again, coming back to center, allowing the chin to drop down for one more breath, lengthening the back of the neck. And then from here, coming back to center with the head, opening the eyes. We're going to come to cat cow. So coming to hands and knees, putting the hands underneath the shoulders. And the knees are stacked directly underneath the hips. So find that alignment. Feet are flat on the ground. Then dropping the belly towards the ground on an inhale, gaze up, open the chest, gaze is upward. And on the exhale, rounding the spine and curling all the way upward. So the inhale brings the belly down and opens the chest, lifts up and open. And on the exhale, we're curling the spine and rounding it all the way up towards the ceiling. So coming into that movement a few times. Every inhale opens the chest, lifts the gaze. Every exhale curls the spine past the pelvis and pushes the ribs in. So inhale, expansion in the chest. And exhale, rounding the spine two more times, warming up that spine, getting some movement in between the vertebrae. Last time. And then coming back to center, from here, picking up your left hand, then slide the left hand down on the ground. Then allow the shoulder to come down and rest there on your cheek. Walk the right fingertips away from you. Staying here, opening the chest. Allowing the upper body to rest down towards the ground, coming into a slight shoulder stretch. And with the next inhale, draw that right hand back underneath your right shoulder, lifting all the way up and shifting to the other side. This time the right arm slides down all the way until that shoulder comes down, rest the right shoulder down onto the ground, staying there, walking the left fingertips away from you this time, all the way up overhead, resting there. And one more breath. And on the inhale, placing that left hand underneath the left shoulder and lifting yourself up, coming back to cat cow. Let's move the spine again. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, curl the spine. Last time, inhale, opening the chest. And exhale, curling the spine all the way. And coming back to neutral, so the spine is straight. Tucking the toes on there and for a moment stretching the legs one by one. 
So lengthening the backs of the legs, pushing the hips up and back, keeping the feet hip distance width apart. So one by one, we're gonna push those heels down towards the ground, keeping the other leg bended. So moving like this for a few more rounds. And then for the last moment, pressing both heels towards the ground, but first lifting the hips up and back. So the main action here is lengthening the spine, meaning you might wanna bend your knees and maybe those heels come up slightly. That's completely fine. As long as you feel you can press your hips up and back. One last breath. We'll come into a little flow. On an inhale, slowly drop the knees down, back towards the ground, lift the chest upward. And on an exhale, we press back into downward facing dog. So we'll come into this little flow, soft knees to the ground, inhales, bring the knees down, gaze is up, open the chest, exhale, press the hips up and back, lengthen backward. So inhale, brings the knees down, opens the chest, and exhale, hips up and back. Inhaling, opening the chest, exhaling, downward dog, last time, move with your breath, and exhaling, down dog, stay there for one more breath, lengthen the spine, now we're going to shift forward into a plank, so the hands will be underneath the shoulders, heels are pressing backward, firm the buttocks, firm the belly, Come into that full plank. Breathe deeply. One more breath here. And then slowly bending the elbows down and towards you. We're going to come into Chaturanga low plank. So hovering just above the ground. And then very slowly lowering the body down. Very good. Coming into a little back bending practice. Have the feet close together. Big toes touching. Heels rolling out. Inhale, lift the chest. Lift the arms up. Exhale, back down. Inhale, open and lift, and exhale back down. Inhale, expansion, and exhale, relax. Last two times, inhale up, and exhale back down. Last time, inhaling up, lift the hands up, open the chest. Last deep breath, and exhaling back down. Have the head rested on the ground. Take one resting breath here. And placing the hands underneath the shoulders and on an inhale lift yourself forward and slightly up maybe pressing a little bit into the hands keeping the pelvis on the ground elbows close and tucked in shoulders down maybe coming up quite high or maybe just staying here whatever feels supportive for your back last two breaths open the chest and on the exhale slowly rolling back down Take one deep breath here. Rest the body and the belly into the mat. And from here, we'll press into Balasana, Child's Pose. So bringing the hips up and back, resting the hips all the way down onto the heels. Allowing that upper body to lengthen now for a moment. When we come onto the fingertips, we start walking the fingertips away from us. So we're creating some space in the side body and lengthening the spine. Once you've found that length, then place the hands back down. We'll stay here for three more full and deep relaxing breaths. With every inhale, feeling that belly pressing into the thighs. Every exhale, sink slightly deeper. Taking that last moment here, holding space for yourself. And then after that last breath has been taken, very slowly come to sit upwards. So bring the hands closer towards you. Come to sit on the heels for a moment. Just resting the hands into the left that's uncomfortable, you can place a pillow in, the, in between. Let's just rest here for a moment with the eyes closed. Feeling the body. Maybe feeling a slightly deeper connection to the physical body, to the breath. 
may be feeling slightly more grounded and knowing that even just 10 minutes of practice like this can really make a difference in how we feel. And staying with that feeling of groundedness, bringing the hands in front of the heart, bowing the head towards the heart. Namaste. Thank you.